Welcome to another informative video brought to you by Ortruo. In today's series, we will be looking at filling system. The process involved during filling activities will be discussed. And finally, the importance of shift register will be looked at. Stay tuned. Going left. Going right. I am going to prevent you from porting. Well, I am tired. I feel like taking some drink. Hey, du bist es wieder. Ja, Mann. Ich habe Pause. Also habe ich mir eine Auszeit genommen. Ja. Ich bin gerade damit fertig. Meinem Freund eine Basketballstunde beizubringen. Kam nur zum Entspannen. Ich verstehe. Kein Wunder, dass du schwitzt. Viel Spaß. Grüße auch deinen Freund von mir. Danke, dass du zurückgekommen bist, um Hallo zu sagen. Hi. Please give me two bottle of soft drink. Enjoy the evening. Who was that? That was Merkel. A colleague of mine. John. I am curious about some things so I felt I should ask you. I just hope you don't mind. Well? You know, that wouldn't be a problem. So go ahead. Can you please explain how filling process works? Okay. That is not something that is difficult. Filler? As it is known in food and beverage companies. This machine fill bottle with alcoholic and non-alcoholic product. The bottle filling is done at varying angles. Which mean, as the machine rotates along its axis, multiple processes will take place while it rotates along its axis. Again, this won't have been possible without the use of a suitable programmable logic controller. The most common one is the B and R system. Now for clarity's sake, we will divide the filler into three. Which are the infeed star wheel, the filler main bowl, and the discharge star wheel. The infeed star wheel is used to transfer the bottle from a moving conveyor to the filler. While the discharge star wheel is used to transfer the bottle to the moving conveyor. Now the main bowl of the filler is divided into six. This represents the filling stages. On the filler main bowl, we have different set of measuring device. This device are used to monitor the condition of the product within the filler main bowl. This instruments are pressure transmitter, temperature transmitter and level transmitter. These instruments are equipment that keep the filler running. So basically, when the product in the ring bowl meets certain conditions, which are the pressure of the CO2, the temperature of the product and the required volume of the product is attained. Then filling process commences. Again, if you want to learn more of instrumentation, Kindly check my playlist on instrumentation. Filling process is triggered by a sensor at the inlet of the filler. This sensor is known as bottle presence sensor. As soon as the sensor is triggered, the PLC, which is the B and RX20 CPU will create a shift register. 
This register will be used to automate the filling of the bottle with beverage or alcohol, as the bottle moves along its axis. The axial rotation is gotten from the shaft encoder. So in summary, the the bottle will trigger the bottle presence sensor. Shift register will be created by the PLC. Now for the automation of the filling process. The register will depends on the angular displacement of the filler. This displacement is gotten through a positional device also known as encoder. Again if you want to know more, kindly check one of our series on encoder. Now let look at the HMI again. When the filler rotates between 0 to 5 degrees, the PLC will use compressed air to activate the pre-evacuation valve. And pre-evacuation will take place within the bottle. This is used to remove oxygen and other type of air from the bottle. When the filler rotation is from 5 degrees to 10 degrees, the PLC will use compressed air to activate the CO2 valves. This will allow the bottle to be pressurized with CO2. When the filler rotation is between 10 degrees to 15 degrees, the PLC will use compressed air to activate the pre-evacuation valves. And removal of CO2 and oxygen will take place within the bottle. When the filler rotation is between 15 degrees to 20 degrees, the filler will use compressed air to activate the pressurization valves. After actuation, the bottle will be pressurized with CO2. Again the aim is to make the pressure of the CO2 within the bottle to be equal to the pressure of the main bowl. Now when the filler rotates from 25 degrees to 65 degrees, the PLC will use compressed air to activate the filling valve, and the bottle will be filled with product. As the bottle fills up, it will fills to the extent that the vent tube start taking some product in. This will trigger the filler to stop filling and as such filling will stop. After the bottle has been filled with product, the filler rotates between 65 degrees to 70 degrees. The PLC will use compressed air to activate the snifting valve. Hence sniffing will take place within the blocks. The aim of product snifting is to create foaming at the tip of the filled bottle. This foam will prevent formation of oxygen within the bottle. So most time in industries, the filled height can be varied in respect to the filler vent tube. Longer vent tube equate to lesser filled height, and lower vent tube equates to higher filled height. The filler automation in respect to the filler position varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. Again if you want to get to know more about them, a little goggle search will be handy because with each machine comes with its own unique design. Now let look at the design of the filling block. What most machine designer normally do is to design a block that will allow the flow of air, CO2 and product. This holes port are now controlled by the PLC as the filler rotates. Now, let do a quick recap. We started off with sensory technology. The importance of sensory technology was discussed extensively. From there we look at instrumentation has related with bottle filling. The importance of these devices was discussed. Finally we ended off looking at shift register. The way shift register work in relation to the position of the filler main bowl during filling automation was discussed. Hope you have learned something new today. See you in the next one.